Hey guys, how's it going? On today's video, we're gonna go ahead and install this carbon fiber roof skin on my BMW E30. The skin is from Jeff Steele out in the UK. I'll put a link to the product in the description. The carbon roof isn't a terrible price, but shipping it uh, is a killer. It comes in a giant crate. You know, the bigger the item, the more shipping costs. So, still super cool. Their turnaround time was fantastic. I believe it was like a one week production and then it took about a week to get here. So, it was made and shipped super quick. We will have to do some trimming. They leave extra on the edges as well as the front. And we're gonna go ahead and chop a little bit on the A and the C pillars as there is just too much extra material. So if we go over to the car here, you can see these notches right here. That would be where the actual OEM roof skin is mounted to here. And then you could see in the back here as well, there is a little line here, which we will then follow on there. Most people, well, let's start with this. If you're doing a carbon fiber roof, you should be running a full cage. Not a half cage like I am, a full cage. Most people, what they do is they'll go ahead and cut, excuse the Euro bumper trim, if you haven't seen that video, link right there. What they'll do is they'll cut pretty much the whole entire roof out and they'll leave about three, four inches in the front, three, four inches on the side here. They'll leave the cross brace in the center and they'll cut out a bunch of metal up here too. Since I'm only running a half cage, I want to keep as much factory reinforcement, let's call it, as possible so that it's still nice and firm. I did have, this is a sunroof car, I did cut out the sunroof. You can check that video out right there. I don't want to lose too much of the factory rigidity. What I'm planning to do is just leave pretty much everything how it is and we'll go ahead and bond it to the, to the rest of the, the leftover roof. Most people cut it out to save weight. It's a street car, so I don't really care to save that much weight. And it's not like that is going to be so significant. So what we'll have to do is get this all stripped down to bare metal. And then we'll use a uh, epoxy to uh, bond it to the chassis. And then we'll have to go ahead and let the painter go ahead and feather it in here. I'm not doing the painting on the car, so that is up to someone else. All right, I got a place on the car, and as you can see, it's not really fitted quite well. The back of the lip here is about an inch away from where the actual back is. You can see it's not sitting flush here. It's sitting a little flush in the front, but it's still not, there's still a gap in here, although this is pretty much touching. So we're gonna go ahead and trim, like I said, about there, maybe even a little bit higher. Go ahead and get some of this off on the inside, as well as we're gonna need to trim all of this extra all along the edge here on both sides. And then same thing with the rear. We'll go ahead and cut it across. I might end up getting rid of, well, I'm gonna try to keep this bend right here, depending on how hard it is to fit. I might have to get rid of the back half here so that it at least pulls itself from the front and lays flat towards the back. We'll see how that goes, but this is not cheap. So if you don't know what you're doing, let someone else deal with it. If you really want to tackle it yourself, do it at your own risk. This is my first time doing it. So obviously it's a stretch for me. I think if I take my time and don't rush it, I th should come out just fine. So I got the roof over there. I'm going to start cutting. I didn't mention that the uh, Jeff Steele, the carbon roof is meant to be a full roof replacement. So you are supposed to cut, drill out all the spot welds and remove the factory sheet. And then you put the carbon roof on. Uh, but I'm using it more as just a, a, a skin, a cover. All right, so I got the roof all taped up, about to start cutting. So for the edges here, there is a little bit of a ridge, which I'll show you on the car. There is no ridge on the underside of this carbon panel. So for it to lay completely flat, I'm gonna go ahead and cut just above it. 
start from the middle and work my way out because the ridge doesn't go all the way down. So I'll probably do a nice, try, try to do a nice transition right here and then I'll end up just cutting the rest of uh, this out. Although I'll probably end up cutting about there. Same thing with the rear. It goes, it goes, and then it kind of falls off right there. Let's get to cutting. Make sure you guys have a good mask. I'm gonna open the door and probably bring this outside. Um, eye protection, and I'm gonna use a Dremel. Did a lot more cutting. I went ahead, got the front lip off and the rear lip off the whole L piece. There's still a little bit of a bend, so I'm, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna have to uh, take like a sander and just from the bottom, just level it out all the way around. Same thing on the front, there's still a little bit of a lip. There is a good amount of give in the middle of it. So I'm also hoping when I bond it, that when, it, when I press it down, that it kind of folds out a little bit more. It is looking that I'm gonna strip the whole roof and do the whole roof in in filler, which is gonna be very costly, but I wanna make sure that this doesn't happen. This was definitely meant for a roof replacement and not just a, a over piece. So let's start prepping the roof. So I got some paint stripper, some acetone, and some after wash for the paint stripper but we will go ahead and after the paint stripper has done its job, go ahead and grind everything down so it's extra fresh. So this is gonna be the adhesive we're using to glue it to the roof, Permabond ET538. I bought a load of it. I am going to start putting the uh, uh, paint remover on and then if you guys need any glue, I'll probably put this up for sale on my eBay once I'm done with this. Uh, just because it actually is really hard to get in the States. I chose this over 3M panel bond just because in BMP's video, uh, when they when he, they do their carbon roof, they use this because of the slow cure time and the low heat because supposedly they don't post cure their carbon fiber parts. So I didn't want to worry about the the roof heating up too much where it will uh, just, uh, ruin the finish and make it wavy. So I decided to just go with, this takes about three days and it cures really slowly. So that means the heat that comes off the glue while it's, while it's setting isn't a lot, where the 3M uh, panel bond is a little bit more. Um, there's a lot of people that use it and love it. I just figured I want the longest cure time and the lowest heat. Well, as you could see, that stuff didn't do anything. I did, I scored it. I used a wire brush to kind of like brush it in. Didn't do anything. There's one spot over here that it did work a little bit. And then if you could see, you can kind of see it starting to go, maybe. So that was two coats. I left it on well over the 15 minutes. You see it did a little bit there, but at this point, I think it's quicker just to uh, just to get a wire wheel out. Not a wire wheel, but a, uh, a sander and just grind it down to bare metal in, in these spots because this is taking all day. Don't buy this. doesn't work. If maybe I used to use the, chem the aircraft grade stuff, but... You know, all with all these new regulations coming out, it's possible they changed that formula as well. That stuff used to work great. I don't know how it works anymore. It's been probably four years so since I last used it. So that might be worth it, but don't buy that. Even though it's usually local to you, you don't have to order it. Don't buy it. It doesn't work. So I'm going to go ahead and get the sander out and get this down to bare metal. So I got the roof just kind of loosely clamped down just so I can kind of see where how it's sitting and what else I need to either grind or how I'm going to do it. But I'm pretty happy with the fitment. Once it goes off the paint, you know, they could cut it how they want. It is going to suck to get off, but if they want to, they can just cut it and sand it to blend it however they want. There's a bunch of fish eyes in here, so I'm hoping that 
uh, they can when they repaint the car, they'll sand the carbon down, and then we'll go ahead and re re clear coat it. Obviously, my cut isn't perfect, but my goal is to stack up the glue thick enough where it lays in this channel right here, which you can actually see really well. And we should be able to just blend it from the edge of here up. And then all we have to do is paint a line uh, across. I might have, should have probably left a little bit more here, but that's okay. Um, as you can see, the line is right there. Everything is bare metal. All I have to do is clean it a bunch of times, make sure there's nothing left on the surface and go ahead and tape everything off, which I'll show. I went ahead and trimmed all the way around here and then smoothed it out so that the edge isn't, isn't harsh. All right, so I already have this taped up on the bottom. So I have the sheet, one layer tape, and then I did a second layer tape all the way around so that when the first set of glue kind of like settles on it, I can take it off and that leaves me with one more layer to, to get a nice fine line. Test fit it, went ahead and traced the bottom uh, where the actual sunroof is. I'm gonna go ahead and throw some sound deadening on it. So unfortunately, I won't see the carbon on the inside, but that it is what it is. Go ahead and throw some sound deadening on here in the, in the square, um, just to help with vibration noise. It would be cool to have a cutout so you can see the carbon roof when it's in the car, but uh, it won't. It really won't look good with the, when the headliner's in. So, all right, sound deadening's on. Edge is getting prepped. Gonna go ahead and wipe down the rest of this and then start uh, masking. Everything is masked off and clean, prepped, ready to go. Go ahead, set up a time lapse, and we'll get all the glue down and get put the roof on. It's been a few hours. I started to go, I did a double layer of tape so that I can get a clean line all the way around. And then if it fell more, I could then do it again. It's going to be fun getting the tape off of the carbon skin on the top, just because in some areas the glue went over. But I was hoping for a really good thickness of glue. It's an absolute pain to, to hand squeeze. Uh, you'll see in the time lapse the, the applicators that we're using. Um, those are from Amazon. Don't buy them. It sucked. But there's no good way of getting the glue out and mixed it's definitely, if you're going to do this and the amount of glue that we used, it's definitely a four person job. The two of us, our arms are killing us. Uh, big thanks to my buddy for coming to help out. But so you can see, we got some nice overlap in the front where it's leaking out. I was hoping for it to be a little more thick here so that blending would be easier, but I'll blend it probably somewhere up top. So that's okay. My idea of using the ridge as a body line seems to be okay right now. I expect that we will have to do a small line of paint all the way across. Just hoping to minimize that. So that looks good. Some of the edges aren't perfect, um, but they should be nice and bonded. I guess all that matters is that it's, it's on the car and it's nice and flat. The table... Mm, probably not the best idea and I hope that doesn't mess with anything but uh, should be okay it's nice even weight all the way across this one I tried to push more filler up but didn't come out great looks good all the way around on the edges so I guess that's the most important part uh, for the inside I was hoping for more uh, bleed through but there is only a little bit all the way around so that means that when I was spreading it, I did it a little bit too light at the edges. I could have used more. And obviously we're gonna find out how much flex there is once it's dry. So it says 72 hours, this is three days to fully cure. So today is Friday. I will pick this back up probably as much as I wanna do it on, on Monday when I get back. So let's see. No, 
I'll probably unwrap it, wrap it Tuesday, and then this video will go up either uh, Thursday or Friday, same week, because I haven't been posting, so you guys will get a nice, solid video. Like I said, four-person job. We used we used seven cartridges, but realistically, I think it w there was two that just got discarded at the end. So the two halves. So realistically, you need a you need six if you're doing this. What I'd really recommend is one again. This Jeff Racing Steel is a uh, roof is a supposed to be a factor a full replacement, not just a skin. So there's a lot of trimming to make it just a skin. If you're gonna do it full cage, and I would just cut the roof off, cut cut the back half, leave the the center, so you have that support, but cut the rest of it, uh, just because you you waste so much glue in that area. We definitely use two two full things just in the center here, and then the rest. So you really could get away with four or five just on the edges uh, instead of all that. Uh, but you can see the car is an absolute mess. Um, sanding, sanding, getting the paint off uh, sucked. So, in just the blink of an eye, it'll be Tuesday. It's been more than 72 hours, so let's go ahead and get this thing all taken apart, set up the time lapse, and get started. And there we go. It is bonded. It is good. It is It is solid. There are no weird dips, especially in the center. I could have done a little bit more glue on the edges. I was really hoping for a, a nice layer here because there's what I explained earlier, the lip of the carbon, and then there's a ridge here. So I was hoping to just fill it right in between. Um, so I didn't do the best of job in some places. I did other places. I didn't I still got to remove some tape But we'll go ahead and cut a line all the way across here And then should be able to break some of this off the carbon I could have left a little bit more in this area if it was going to conform correctly and again at the edges But the front and back should have a really nice form to them I should be able to sand that down and that be perfect for the front and the rear. So that's all that matters and then obviously the only light part is gonna be here in the middle. There's a little uh, overhang in a few places. I was hoping for a little bit more, a really nice sponge all the way around of uh, glue, but that's okay. I mean, I doubt this thing's going anywhere <laughs> with all the glue that was uh, put on it. Same on this side, a few places that it was done really well, and then a few places that are a little low. So if I wanted to, maybe I could go back in and just add glue here or I'll just let the, the body shop. Overall, really happy. There are some waves in it. Well, there aren't any waves in it. It's more in the clear than it is in the actual panel itself. Once the whole thing will get sanded and then re-cleared, it should help a lot, just because the, there's a lot of imperfections in the clear anyway. Uh, there's a lot of pitting and whatnot. But overall, I am stoked that this project is done. Um, overall thoughts is this is a really awesome thing to do, but it's extremely costly. The glue is super expensive or either, I mean, even the 3M panel bond is expensive, but the glue is really expensive. The carbon is really expensive, especially that you have to get it shipped from Europe. There's really no one here in the U S that makes a good, uh, good, nice piece. And the process takes a while. You definitely want a few of your friends to help. Me and my buddy Mitchell, thanks Mitchell for helping me glue, but it definitely could have used at least a third or fourth person to help with the glue just to make sure everything was done in time and enough glue was added. Overall, this is gonna be great. And then I'm really not gonna do much besides some sanding, which I'll do off camera. Um, and I'm gonna let the body shop do the rest. So I'm hoping that it will have it blended to about here. We'll have a nice arc or a nice fade into it. There we go. Some moisture from when I just wiped it down but overall this is uh, this is awesome this is gonna be great once it's actually painted so thank you guys for watching if you have any questions please put them down in the comments section below and I will answer them as quickly as I can don't forget to like and subscribe if you don't follow me on Instagram it's right here at the mass driver 
If you guys need any E30, E36, M3, Z3M, E46, M3 parts, hit up my parts page at Rage of Parts. I have a ton of E30 stuff that'll be going up in the next couple weeks. That is it for this video. Thank you guys for watching. Have a great day.